good morning students welcome back to vedic mathematics day 3 with trick number 3 that is multiplication so today we are going to learn about multiplication of two numbers which can be less than base any base here we took 100 it can be 10 it can be 1000 or it can be more than the base 10 Hundred and thousand. So come on, learn about the multiplication. Now, can you multiply ninety-eight into ninety-seven in five second? No. Then come and learn high-speed Vedic maths with this trick. So how we multiply ninety-eight into ninety-seven? The very first step is to write. Ninety-eight into ninety-seven, like this. First of all, we choose a base. We know the base is hundred here because ninety-eight and ninety-seven is closer to hundred. Now, what is the next step? Ninety-eight is how much less than hundred? Yes. If you do minus two from hundred, you get ninety-eight. Now, if you do minus three from hundred, you get Ninety-seven. Okay, this is very first step. Next step is what? Multiply this. That is minus two into minus three. Yes, you all know two into three is six, and minus into minus sign give you plus six. But you will not write it as six. So we know in a base there are two zeros. In the previous trick also we have discussed this. So you have to write zero six like this. Now next step is what crosswise addition. So what is a crosswise addition? We will write the numbers like this, which we have written in the step number one. So crosswise addition. Add these two numbers and add these two numbers. The sum should be same. So how ninety eight plus Into minus three, it will give you ninety-eight minus three. That is ninety-five. Similarly, ninety-seven plus minus two, it will give you what? Ninety-seven minus two, ninety-five. So you got answer ninety-five after crosswise addition. So answer should be same in both the cases. Now we'll conclude. The answer from these two steps, step number two and step number three. So after conclusion, we come to answer. We write ninety five, this number, and in step two as zero six. So ninety eight into ninety seven will give you answer nine five zero six. So in just five seconds, you can calculate this answer of multiplication of two numbers around any base. Now let's take example of three digit number nine nine eight into nine nine seven. The same thing we will do. The step number one is you to write nine nine eight into nine nine seven. Like you write like this. Now what you are seeing that these are closest to which bases? Of course, it is. They are closest to. Thousand. So we choose the base here, thousand. So see, nine nine eight is how much less than thousand? Again, it is minus two. Now, when you minus three from thousand, you get nine nine seven. So this is very first step. You all know this. This is first step. Now, what is the second step? To multiply these two numbers. Okay, minus two into minus three. You all know. Its value come out to be six with the signs minus minus cancel and it become a positive. Third step is a crosswise addition. We will again write this number, or you can do here only. Crosswise addition is like this means nine nine seven when you add nine nine seven to minus two. So nine nine seven minus two is nine nine five. Nine nine eight. Plus minus three to it, we get the same addition 
answer 995 the fourth step is to conclude the result first you see the second step here you got a 6 but now in base you find how many zeros three zeros okay so if you have three zeros it means this should be of three digit how it become of three digit if you add two zeros in front of six okay now we'll conclude the answer simple you will write 995 from third step and 006 so this is answer of multiplication of 998 into 997 so now you can multiply any number less than base if both the numbers are less than base any base it can be 10 it can be 100 it can be 1000 now second case when both the numbers are higher than the base any base here we have two numbers 103 into 105 both are greater than 100 okay so how we will multiply these two numbers we have somewhat similar method as we did now only how we do it let's see so see I have written 103 into 105 the same thing we have to do first we choose a base these are around 100 nearer to 100 so now 103 into 105 what we have to do again write like this in the very first step you always write like this okay now see 103 is how much greater than 100 is 3 plus 3 if you add 3 to 100 you get 103 now if you add 5 to 100 you get 105 so this is very first step so what will be the second step second step is to multiply these with their signs so plus 3 into plus 5 is 15 so note it down and let it be here now third step crosswise addition the same as we did earlier okay now you have to add this you have to add this it would give a same answer 103 plus 5 is equals to 108 105 plus 3 will give you 108 so this is the answer from step 3 now we'll conclude the answer in the same way so we will write 108 and 15 so 10815 is answer for 103 into 105 so it is very easy to calculate same way as we calculated below the base in the same way we will calculate the multiplication of numbers greater than a base 100 so similarly we can apply this method if we choose a base 1000 10000 and so on now next come to the next case in which how to multiply when one number is greater and other number is smaller than a base 100 so for example 112 into 108 so our step one is to write like this as you all know now see we have to choose a base so these are around which base it, these are around base 100 okay so when these are ba around base 100 so see 112 is how much greater than 100 yes if you do plus 12 to 100 you will add 12 to 100 you get 112 now 88 is how much less than 100 yes if you minus 12 from 100 you get 88 so this is our very first step next step yes next step is multiply these with signs so it is plus 12 multiply minus 12 it will give you minus 144 or you can write 144 bar okay next third step crosswise addition so crosswise addition you will do add this to this add this to this 88 plus 12 will give you 100 
112 plus minus 12 it will give you again 100 so note it down now step 4 is somewhat different in step 4 what you have to do I will write like this I write answer of this is 100 here we get minus 144 so somewhat different thing we are going to do put 0 0 over here now minus 144 from it will give you the answer 9856 which is a answer for 112 into 88 here how you can solve it yes in the trick number 2 we discuss last from 10 and all from 9 so hey, what was that like this but for this this is a 5 digit this is the 3 digit make it 4 digit it should be 1 digit less than the this so last number from 10 minus last number from 10 that is 6 and all of the numbers from 9, 9 minus 4 is 5, 9 minus 1 is 8 and 9 minus 0 is 9. So here is the answer 9856. So it's very easy to calculate. This, all the steps are same. But once you got multiplication with a minus sign, you have to minus like this. You have to minus that number from this by putting two zeros or three zero according to the quotient and you will solve this accord like this. This is a multiplication of a number. One number is greater than base and another number is smaller than base. I hope you understood this and will apply this in your calculations. So nowadays all the schools are also teaching Vedi Mathematics with notable success so it is taught it is being taught in many schools and institutes in India's even to MBA students so Vedic mathematics is very helpful to children in calculating their sums in their exams and it also help to develop your brain so learn Vedic mathematics it will bring smiles on your face so thank you very much.